Greetings and welcome to part 14 on my tutorial series on how to program the Kurzweil PC3. So uh, this is wave sequencing part 2 and what I want to talk about today are uh, ways that you can combine synthesis with wave sequencing to make uh, wave sequences that you can control uh, in ways that are go sort of above and beyond how you can control wave sequences on, on, on many other synths. So first of all, I'm going to demonstrate for you a patch that I created. This one's called Valhall, um, sort of like Valhalla. I think I pronounced that right. Anyway, because it's, you know, wild and mysterious and very Nordic sounding. So let me go ahead and start playing this thing. Okay, so uh, what you heard was, was both this, this uh, program playing with me holding down the sustain pedal and, and pressing keys on the keyboard at different times, but I was also manipulating sliders and the mod wheel and pressing the SW button and, and doing some other things along the way. So I'm going to show you now how um, to create a program that's kind of like this one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit edit on the default program. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pick my methods of synthesis real quickly here. So uh, the first method I'm going to use is I'm going to use sample-based synthesis, and I'm going to start with this um, key map that I made previously in my previous video that takes a piano sample and moves the alt start point beyond the end point of, of the sample so that, so that when I play this with the mod wheel up, okay, so I'm going to hit... Um, Alt control. I'm going to put to the mod wheel. And I'm going to put this to continuous. Okay, so when I hit a note now with the mod wheel up, um, you should be able to, after I set some things up here, hear how it sounds. Okay, so there you go. I, I didn't re trigger the note right there. It's playing through uh, the samples in ROM. Okay, so that's going to be my layer one. Um, and, and I'm also going to throw on here some DSP. So let's go ahead and pick algorithm number two. I'm going to put two things on here. I'm going to put a saw plus shaper. Okay, because I want this to, um, to, to have that on there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop a gain block here at the end of this chain. Okay, just to uh, to control gain and 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 you'll see why I have that in there later. Uh, so so let's go ahead and go to the DSP mod page to the saw plus shaper. I'm going to go ahead and pitch it down. So let's play a note here. Whoops.
I'm going to pitch it down 12 steps. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put slider A on this, and I'm going to assign it to have a depth of 4,800 cents. Okay, so I'm going to hold down a note here and raise slider A. All right, cool. That, that does a cool thing to the sound that I like. Okay, so let's go to the gain here. Again, I'm going to turn this down to, I think, uh, 78, and I'm going to put this here to 66, and I'm going to pick LFO1. Uh, I think that's, no, that's LFO2. There we go. LFO1 to be my source. Let's go to the LFO page, min rate that. I'm going to go ahead and hit 4 hertz as my max rate. My rate control, I'm going to set to be MIDI 27. And for shape, I'm going to go ahead and pick sine plus. And phase, leave that at zero degrees. So, so now my gain will um, be modulated by the sine wave. You can hear that here. So there I'm just playing with, with the, the two sliders I have assigned to this program. Okay, so that's layer one. Uh, let's go ahead and add another layer in here. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit new layer. Um, let's go to the key map page. For this layer, I'm just going to do some DSP stuff. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and pick none for the key map. Okay, on the ALG page. Now, uh, for this particular example, I'm going to want to mix layer one and layer two together. So let's go ahead and pick an algorithm that allows me to do that. So I'm going to pick an algorithm that bypasses this layer completely. Let's see here. I know I've got one in here someplace. Um, let's find a good one. Here we go. I like this one. Okay, so I'm going to use this is this is one of my user algorithms that I made earlier. Uh, so so the signal coming in, in this case from layer one, will completely bypass the layer, and then another signal will be generated within the layer uh, that that will go to the output. So I'm going to go ahead here and pick saw as my um, DSP oscillator, and then for the um, to modify it, I'm going to pick a this DSP block called wrap. Okay, let's go to the key map page. Okay, hit that to none. Amp page, we're going to turn off velocity tracking. Go to the amp envelope page, pick user. Okay, so now let me turn this down. Okay, you can hear that um, sort of weird noise in the background there. That's that's that sawed uh, wave being wrapped. Okay, let me put this down at minus 32 decibels. Okay. There, you can hear it's just as it just sounds like a sawtooth wave with wrap at minus 32 decibels. So let's go ahead and I'm going to put uh, source one to be mini 13, and I'm going to put the depth to be oh, let's make it something big, 88 decibels. Okay, so listen to this as I raise. Okay, so slider 13 has a nice effect. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the LFO page. I'm going to do the same thing here as I did on the other LFO page. I'm going to set this to 4 hertz. Uh, rate control, I'm going to set again to MIDI 27. Shape to plus sign. And phase, I'm going to put at 90 degrees. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and go back to layer 1 here. Uh, let's go to the amp page. Okay, because I'm cascading layer one, or I'm, I'm running layer one through layer two, I'm going to go ahead and turn the output down all the way on layer one. So, now let's go back to layer two. I think I need to add in here a gain block. Okay, um, let's go to the uh, DSP mod page gain let's see on layer one we had it set to minus 78 we'll do the same thing here minus 78 uh, and then i'm going to go ahead and for source one i'm going to pick lfo1 and the depth will be 66 decibels okay so if i go to my lfo page 
it should be basically the exact same thing as layer one, only this is 90 degrees out of phase. So let's hear what it sounds like now. There you go. So you can hear. So let's slow down that LFO a little bit. So playing with the sliders, I can make this, um, I've got some control over this sound that's kind of interesting. Okay, so now um, I'm going to go ahead real quick and create a new layer. And this layer, its purpose is going to be to mix layer one and layer two together. Okay, because I'm going to then send these through one more layer. So let's go ahead and go to the key map page here. I'm going to pick zero for the key map. Let's go to the ALG page. Okay, I want to pick something that will allow me to mix um, the two signals coming out of layer two. So see, I've got two signals coming out there. So let's go ahead and put alt input to layer two, and there you can see I have my two signals coming in. And for this, I'm going to pick X fade. Let's go to the DSP mod page. Okay, I'm going to set this to 50%. All right, and then I'm going to come here to excuse me, let's go to the GSP control page, there we are, and I'm going to put pad to 0 dB. So, now the sound is mixed together. Before what you were hearing was one sound was coming out of the left speaker, one sound was coming out of the right speaker. You might like that particular effect, so um, just be aware that that's, um, that's definitely possible to do. Okay, so uh, now we're going to put in another layer. So I'm going to go ahead and pick new layer here. Okay, and for layer four, let's see, what should we do on layer four? Let's go ahead and do some FM. So uh, layer four, I'm just going to pick algorithm two. I'm not going to worry about cascading because I'm going to be using these LFOs to control the volume of each of these layers. So they're going to play in sequence, so they don't necessarily need to be fixed, um, uh, mixed together. Uh, in, in, in my Valhall program that I showed you, or Valhall program, I mixed the layers together and then ran them through a filter. We're going to omit the filter for um, sake of time here because we're already at about 12 minutes, 30 seconds into this thing. So, uh, but, but just know that you can keep going, obviously, and adding more synthesis. Uh, but I just want to show you what this sounds like um, now that when we add some, uh, some uh, nice FM stuff here. So I'm going to put a saw plus shaper here and another saw plus shaper and then I'm going to put a gain block here okay so now with this with this particular uh, DSP arrangement I essentially have three uh, FM operators okay now um, I'm going to do something a little different here with these and that I'm going to use the same slider to adjust each of these by different values in different directions. So for the first, uh, let's see, let's go 1900 cents. Okay, so for this first operator, I'm going to pitch it up 1900 cents when I raise slider 22. For the second one, I'm going to go down 19, whoops, let's go down 1900 cents. Okay. And then for the third one, I'm going to go up again, 1900 cents. Okay, so let's make sure I've got everything assigned there. Yes, I do. Okay, let's see how this sounds. Uh, let's see here. I think I need to go to the amp. Bit. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Now that's fun. Okay, so that's what that sounds like. So now I have this third layer, and all I need to do now is go to the LFO page and set this up just like I did on the previous um, layers where I'm doing DSP. Uh, again, MIDI 27 is our rate control, our shape is plus sign, and the phase this time will be 180 degrees. Okay, so now let's play this and see what we, what we get. Oh, um, sorry. 
Uh, I'm not thinking today. What we want to do is we want to assign this to the gain. So this is again minus 78 decibels. Uh, this is going to be LFO1 and the depth is going to be 66 decibels. So now let's try this. Okay, cool. So now we have these three layers that we can control. Um, let's add in some effects. So I'm going to go ahead and hit 29 here for the dub delay. And I'm going to kick, I think it was 17. Yeah, for Cathedral Chorus. Go ahead and turn up my aux send all the way to 0 dB. And turn that on. Okay, so let's see what we got. down the mod wheel here, play a couple of notes, and move some sliders around. Okay, so there we go. In the short space of almost 17 minutes, <laughs> not that short, but in a relatively short amount of time, uh, we created a wave sequence <clears throat> that has a lot of cool uh, control over the, the tonality of the different parts of the sequence, and they're using different kinds of synthesis. And of course, you can keep going here. You could mix all these signals together and run them through a filter if you wanted. Um, you can add in your own kinds of synthesis. I mean, running the sawtooth wave through wrap, that already is something that, that most other synthesizers can't do. Um, but it just goes to show you that on the PC3, you have lots of things that you can play with, and you can put together put them together in ways that you really can't do on, on uh, any other synthesizer that's, that's on the market. All right, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.